Alright, what's up? I got a new pickup video for you today and I got some real good quality type stuff right here, so take a look. Alright, we got Pokemon Black. Alright, I'm playing that. I'm a I just beat the seventh gym. I know I'm slow with it, you know what I mean? But I got the collector's uh I've got a text right there, but I got the collector's edition guide and that's what's helping me through it. The collector's edition guide, that's right, hard bound. Okay? And um that's why I showed you the guy right there because it went with it. But I gotta show you my other games first, then my guides because I'm saving them for last. I feel the uh, disc based stuff should come first just because, in my opinion, the disc based stuff is everything. And the guides are nice, but they're just a little novelty extra. You don't need them, but I just like to have them. Let me see here, man. I got, I got them all spread out. That's why I'm trying to figure out what to put first, but let me just go and start throwing them off at you. I got Dissidia 012, alright, Blazing Souls Acolyte, that's an RPG, real underrated right there. The Third Birthday, yeah, I told y'all I was buying new stuff, man. <laughs> I'm talking about, uh, Phantom Brave, the Commuter Triangle, Tactics Ogre, the Kateric Cards, got Dreamcast Collection, Rock of the Dead, Blood Drive, hold me over till Twisted Metal comes out, you know what I mean? Um, got some PS2 RPGs, cause I got Atlear Iris, <laughs> Eternal Poison soundtrack, even though all of them like soundtrack, and I got a sealed Artinelico. This is only 20 bucks at the NIS store, free shipping, no tax. Cheapest price on the internet. I want to go pick that up before it sells out. I got me a 3DS. You see, I'm stunting with this. I'm just throwing it in like a semi old pain. You know I'm doing good, man. Aqua Blue. Playing that, man. I put that street pass on and start walking. You feel me? <laughs> And of course, Pilot Wings Resort, Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition with the uh, lenticular first run print holograph. Um, I bought Fragile Dreams again for 20 bucks sealed. Third time I bought this game because the first two times I didn't like the condition, so I sold them because I gotta have my stuff pristine, real collective type stuff right there, man. Um. The edition with the uh, lenticular first run print holograph. Um, I bought Fragile Dreams again for 20 bucks sealed. Third time I bought this game because the first two times I didn't like the condition, so I sold them because I gotta have my stuff pristine, real collective type stuff right there, man. Um, I got the whole NIS set, man. I got Arts and Nelico Premium. Hyper Dimension Neptunia Premium and that Leo Verona Premium. Like, this, this is real. Like, let's look at this, man. This is real hardcore type gamer stuff right here. Y'all talk about y'all playing games. You ain't playing games if you ain't packing these, man. I'm a console gamer, yeah. PC gamers. Nah, you ain't messing with this console stuff. So you don't get stuff like this, man. Yeah, you get premiums, but my opinion, console premiums beat out the PC premiums any day of the week, man. I'm going off on a tangent of that. But, uh, oh yeah, got Nostalgia. This is an older one, but I've been wanting to get it because, you know, RPG and all. One that I've been wanting, and exclusive. I got Burst Angel, the complete series on Blu-ray. <laughs> That's what's up right there. Jackass 3 on Blu-ray, two discs. Watched it, and it's pretty hilarious. Go watch it, man. It's it's, the Rocky segments are hilarious too. It's like Van Margera running up in slow motion, putting you know the water in the face in her, and it just shows it like 3D in the slow motion. It's crazy. You gotta check that out. <laughs> check this gym out, man. I got the Killjoy box set. What you know about that horror movie fanatics? What you know about that? All right, like real horror around here. I bought that real horror because that real horror, that real stuff, man. But I got the Puppet Master Axis of Evil Collector's Trunk, son. Look at this, man. <laughs> I ain't 
feel like pulling it all out, but it comes with like the original Puppet Master, even though I already have that in my Puppet Master box set, and of course Access of Evil, and it comes with some trading cards, and it's a signed certificate of authenticity, and a cool little trunk. I got it half off at the full moon sale, and it was, uh, it was cheap, it was like 15 or 20 bucks, I don't remember, but it was cheap. And finally, yeah, this is about it. Yeah, that's everything. Well, except these and these I got. See, these right here are duplicates. This is how much I'll be buying games. Because, see, I had all these games, you know what I mean? But they were used, and I found good deals on them new. So I went ahead and bought them new, and I'll just be selling these junks right here. And then I got my guides I wanted to show you. Oh, alright, these things heavy, bro. Some, wait, I got Manhunt. Borderlands Game of the Year Hardcover Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks Hardcover <coughs> Tactics Ogre And you know this guy's gonna be rare. All Tactics Ogre guys go super expensive So get that while it's cheap now Dragon Quest 6, another one that's gonna go rare you feel me? Marvel vs. Capcom 3 I'm also holding the Dragon Quest 9 guy but I've showed y'all that before And I've probably shown you Two other things in this video before I don't know. I'll be reusing stuff because I'll be buying so much. It's hard to keep up. Real shit. Uh, I'm out, man. I got I got nothing else to show you. But that was like a real pickup video right there. Get on my level, man. Start buying that real stuff, man. Don't buy that fake stuff. Buy that real stuff. Don't be bootlegging. Don't be pirating. Don't be copying. Buy what you want to buy. Get that collection up, man. I'm out.